Amen. Say better. Amen. Amen. They used to see you on the floor, but you will change to the top. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. The favor that have never happened for you before will happen today. Amen. I know I'm talking to someone. Amen. And the person will go with that particular favor. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. Lord, let your blessing change gear in my life. I'd like you to pray that prayer. Huh? Let your blessing change gear. Let the blessings of God upon my life take a new dimension. The blessings of God upon my life take a new dimension. Lord, by your blessings in this service, cause me to experience accelerated progress. Covenant keeper. Put a new song in my mouth by the power of your blessing. In this service, put a new song in my mouth. 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 In this service, put a new song in my mouth. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. By the blessings of God coming upon you in this service, your era of frustration is over. Amen. Whatever make you to suffer losses in your career, in your business, in your academics, today marks the end. Amen. By the blessings of God coming upon you, events will change all around you. In your family, events will change for the better. In your work, events will change for the better. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Make that amen louder. Put those hands together for the Lord and please be seated. This service is for you. Amen. I'm talking to someone. This service is for you. Amen. By the act of God in this service, your mates will no longer recognize you again. Amen. They will be wondering how come you suddenly change position and change level. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Still in our teaching series, is there no balm in Gilead? Still looking at understanding your right to total health. An inheritance is not what you labored for or what you paid for, but what you were born into. You didn't labor for it. You did not pay for it. You were just born into it. By redemption, total head becomes your birthright.
belonging to a family gives you access to everything that belongs to that family. So by redemption, being in health is not an option. It's a must. If a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. All things are passed away means the old order of events. The old circumstance. The old order. The old situation. All things are passed away. If a man be, there is a place to be. There is a place to be. There is a place to be. I remember I took one of my very close friends. So Meli who arrived Lagos, I told him, I want to eat. He said, where? I said, just follow me. So as we got to the place, in less than one minute, the waiter just appeared. He brought the list of what they have. So I told him, see this one. He carried his phone, Pierre. I said, put this one. He said, Piam. Put this one. He said, Piam. So he now said, should I do the same? I said, yes. He said, no, do for me. <laughs> I said, why? I just told him, I said, okay, do it. Time is two. This person said he will eat jollof rice and chicken. I said, why did you say I should do for you? He said, I want to be looking fresh the way you are looking fresh. <laughs> I said, are you not looking fresh? He said, I got your own fresh. What's my own fresh? He said, in fact, after that first one that you came before, I told my wife that this is the kind of uh, soup you'll be cooking now. He said, it's like that's what Pastor Tony is always eating. <laughs> Praise God. He said, if you don't eat well, your head will not be correct. Students, am I correct? Yes, sir. <laughs> if you don't eat well, your head will not be correct. Do you know why I say you, your head will not be correct? You can't read well. It's like you are opening the book and the book will say, close me now. <laughs> Tell your neighbor there's a place to be. Hear me? When you enter into a good place, you will hate the bad place you have been. Who has had the experience? <laughs> Sickness is not a place to be desired. Do you agree with me? If a man be in Christ, it's automatic you will be in health. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be and be the moment you are in Christ, you have changed location, spiritual location, physical location i remember i used to have a staff then his name is ima today is 20 what between 23rd and 26th ima will always buy his malaria drugs ahead of time 
Because he said he knows the malaria will come. I remembered. So anytime the thing comes, he will be avoiding everybody. So I just I started observing him. I started observing him. I said, this thing is beyond the sickness. It has become a lifestyle. I remember I bought a book as a man thinketh by A. A. Allen. And I will not forget, I saw his column in that book. So, I didn't tell him anything. I just went to the same place I bought the book because I've used Red Biro to design my own. And I gave him a copy. I said, hey, ma, the book is not up to 30 pages. I said, hey, ma, read this book. After reading the book, something happened to him. He came with that particular page that has to do with him falling for malaria every month. He says, sir, it's like, it's me they are talking about here. He said, I don't want this again. He said, I don't want this again. It must change today. I said, you, you, you don't want it again, then you must kill it today. What you don't want, you don't watch. Do you know that after that day, Ima was not breaking down for malaria every month again? That is a state to be. If a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. If you are in Christ, you are be. Say with me, be. You can't be in Christ and be in sickness. You can't be in Christ and be in health crisis. No! I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be. Be, be, be. Health is a state of well-being. What gives us power to be in health is the connectivity we share in eternal life. Eternal life. The very life of God. God did not give us a substitute life. He gave us his very life. He said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Look like us. Look like us. Reflect us. So that when they see you, they see me. Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Do you know the moment a woman gives birth, if the child does not look like the man, does not look like the woman, they will hold village meeting. True of us? They say the nose does not look like you. The eye does not look like you. And they suspect this baby. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Whether they have money to do DNA test or not, they will go and look for money. Am I correct? You know, DNA test is very easy now. Technology is making things faster. It's making things faster. Let me not go there. If a man be, you can't carry eternal life. And be running on the platform of sickness from year to year. No! Sickness does not reflect our spiritual roots. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Because our roots must reflect our fruits. So if we carry eternal life, we must stay, be in health. Say with me, I must be in health. So with eternal life flowing through you, you become immune to sickness. You become immune to enchantment. You become immune to divination. You become immune to satanic programming.
Christ in you. The hope of glory. Not the hope of sickness. Christ in you. The hope of glory. Health is glorious. Are you hear what I'm saying now? Sickness is shameful. Sickness is the gateway to poverty. <laughs> if you are sick, eh, you go to spend. Eh? When doctor said, go buy cotton wool. Go buy needle. Go buy rosa blade. Is this the needle they say you should buy? Go there and go buy it. They are not asking you whether money is in your pocket. Oh. Shabby, you want to be free. You will be buying. Are you around saying now? Sickness is not good. Oh. Anyone going through sickness that is drawing his pocket, I cause the root of that affliction. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say a better amen. Yeah. I like us to understand that the Holy Ghost dwells in us. The reason why He needs to dwell in us is to keep us charged for health. There is a spiritual temperature that is needed for sickness not to survive. There is a temperature needed for sickness not to do what? Survive. There is a temperature needed for sickness not to enter. No wonder scripture says, Why men slept, the enemy came to do what? So, if the Holy Ghost dwells in us, scripture said, His fan is in His hand, and He will thoroughly purge our floor and burn with unquenchable what? Fire. So, the Holy Ghost comes as a consuming fire, purifying our body. It will porch. It will fan. It will sweep through. It will sweep through our system. And whatever does not make for health, it will begin to burn them. Now, John Gillick went to South Africa some years back. And there was a sickness that was killing people. People were dying. There was one day I watched the complete documentary of that film. He was killing people recklessly. People were dying, dying until he came. The Holy Ghost opened him up to this scripture. His fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly purge our floor and burn with unquenchable fire. Do you know what? After praying in tongues, he will just enter into the place. He will just give them a touch. As he's touching them, he's transmitting fire. As he's touching them, he's transmitting fire. They were discharging the people. So, he wanted to know what the um, virus looked like. Guess what? When they put the thing on the microscope, they were plenty. They now say they should put it in his hand. When they put the thing in his hand, all of them died. All the, all the thing died. <laughs> so, they now asked him, why did he die? He said, his hand is carrying fire. So the fire of the Holy Ghost roasted all the virus and all the sickness. The thing transmitting the thing. So when the Holy Ghost is in you, it doesn't only make you to speak in tongues. It raises your spiritual voltage. And when your spiritual voltage is raised, no sickness can enter your body and no sickness can grow in your body. No wonder he said, when he shall come, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And with what? So, the Holy Ghost in you makes your body inhabitable for sickness. Sickness, disease cannot inhabit your body. Enchantment cannot survive your body. We are going to be having operation back to sender tomorrow. Whatever has been lodged into anyone's body, as a satanic deposit or a programming, back to sender. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. So that is why you need the Holy Ghost. He purifies our body. He helps us to stay healthy. 
Because he is the life wire of the spirit. Is the life wire of the spirit. Take away the spirit of God. You are gone. You are sand. One head pan. Full head pan. That's your total you. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I want you to know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Two masters can't be in the same place. Is either Lord over your body, over your soul, over your spirit, or is not Lord at all? Are you hearing what I'm saying now? I remember one, they were doing deliverance for one young girl. My, one of my associate pastors said, Come out! He said, No, come out! <laughs> they come out in Jesus name say no before your mouth you will a drink it was that day that I had that the pastor drinks <laughs> so after I finished doing the deliverance I say Pastor Jude so you did drink eh <laughs> <laughs> So you are among those that are saying take a little wine for your stomach. Yeah. Okay, now. Nah. <laughs> so I say, you see how this small girl yeah, yeah, you? He say, I'm sorry, sir. I can't understand. I say, you don't understand now. I, I went to see them. Pastor Jeremy was in worry. I went to see him. So I just, as I just entered, see, see 11 pastors. No, if he cast out one yeah, yeah, devil. Eleven. <laughs> so I said, they should move her straight into the office. I said, before I remove my jacket, leave now. Stasha, no! She belongs to us. I said, by the authority of the Holy Ghost and the fire of the Lord, go! 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 She was just doing like dog. Wow, 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 wow. And that's how she left. That's how the teen left. Know ye know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And Jesus said, Whatsoever my heavenly Father has not planted shall be uprooted. So the Holy Ghost is the uprooter. Anything that wants to inhabit you. It goes as the consumer's fire to uproot. He uproots them. He uproots. And sends them into hell. And you that is filled with the Holy Ghost. Please don't drive him away. Because if you do. Another thing will enter you. There is no vacuum spiritually. It's either the right thing or the right person is occupying you or the wrong spirit is occupying you. You cannot miss the two. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? That's why you have to be very, very careful. Don't drive him away. Hear me? If he wants to leave, he does not send you text message. Oh. I will leave by 6 a.m. He doesn't send you text message. He leaves quietly. When he left something, he didn't tell him. He left quietly. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? He left quietly. You can be speaking in tongues and not be filled with the Holy Ghost. Dry tongues. I remember one young man. He said, Why is it that anytime I pray in tongues very well, they will not be attacking me in the dream? I say, You are not filled with the Holy Ghost. I want to know what you are filled with. Because if you are filled with the Holy Ghost, you are not supposed to suffer attacks. 
In fact, I had to take him afresh for Holy Ghost baptism. It's not proper to tell me that you are filled with the Holy Ghost and when you pray in the Holy Ghost more, that's when you are attacked more. Not the Holy Ghost. It's your village ghost that you are filled with. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying now? Because the Holy Ghost himself is the custodian of the power of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So if the Holy Ghost dwells in you, sickness cannot survive. Enchantment cannot work. Covens cannot eat up your lungs. They cannot cook your liver for pepper soup. It is not possible. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost dwells in you. It dwells in you. So if he dwells in you, then you must do everything to keep him. Don't send him packing. Having this understanding that the Holy Ghost dwells in you, it fuels you with authority. You become a licensed dispenser. You become a spiritual commander. Anytime you use the name, something works. And his name shall be called Wonderful. You need the name to live health and health free of sickness. So when the name is at work because of the residence of the Holy Ghost in you, sickness cannot survive you. I want you to understand the name of Jesus is not working in everybody's mouth. Yes. Someone said, I was calling the name of Jesus and they were still pressing me. You were not licensed to use the name. It doesn't work in everybody's mouth. You are not in somebody's camp. You are not in somebody's kingdom and you are using his name. Is it possible? No! But that name keeps sickness silenced. It terminates the roots of affliction. It destroys the hold of affliction. It destroys the roots of bondage. Anywhere the name is mentioned, afflictions, they are sacked. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? The name comes with an anointing. The name of Jesus goes with the backing of heaven. The name of Jesus announces divine presence. The presence of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Every time his name is mentioned, the power controlling affliction, they are disarmed. The name. Say with me, the name. So when you carry the name, forces in heaven, on the earth, beneath the earth, they become subdued. They become paralyzed. It's a killing name to any devil on assignment against your life. You can't use that name and be defeated. The name is already carries a scepter of victory. So anywhere you use that name, no wonder Jesus said, what thing soever you ask in my name, what thing soever, what thing soever you ask in my name, in my name. But you know what? That name cannot deliver amazing result for you if you don't have faith in the name. Say with me, faith in the name. Now let me take for example of what it means to have faith in a name. Take for example now, you are given a complimentary card. And the complimentary card you are carrying, let's say that of a Bishop Oyedepo. Say now you go to American Embassy. Papa says I should see any of you 
He said, who is Papa? See his card. See his signature. So I should see any of you. Okay, what is it? I need to travel. They will not ask you who sent you. You have given them the card. They cannot claim they don't know that name. The first thing they will do, they will meet the ambassador. Quick, quick. Sir, Bishop Oedipo sent somebody and this person needs to travel. Just give him, give him, let him go. Provided he can confirm the card. Will he need to be saying, let me call Papa first? He doesn't need that. I might say something to someone. Whatever you ask in my name, that name carries honor. That name is not permitted to be dishonored anywhere. You can't carry the name of Jesus and suffer dishonor in your health. And so wherever the name is mentioned, things change for you. Do you know why it has never worked enough for you the way you desire? You have not believed the name enough. You even value governor's name more than Jesus' name. True or false? Many of you value senator's name more than Jesus' name. Senator, senator will give me a job. Senator, never thief enough. Talk less of giving you a job. Let me, let me shock all of you. I hope you know they are not representing you. They are representing their pockets. If they are truly representing you, some of them have stayed 16 years. There is one that is pursuing 24 years now. He still wants to go again. No? He will soon die. He's still going... And he, has, he cannot claim to have raised 100 millionaires in his 24 years of going. And he still wants to go again. And the Mumu people, they are saying, is our voice. Which voice? <laughs> Do you know what? If they don't go, they know that that is their end. How many of us know Aton Zeribe? If you know him, raise your hand. That man was a terrorist. He was an armed merchant. He has been in the Senate for more than 16 years. Now he's gradually dying like a weakling. With all the money he has made, now he's out. Let the money grow now. Let the money grow. To thief the sweet. To walk the hard. That's why they were saying, my constituency must be represented. Now lie. They are representing their own family. They are not including you. I believe God, 2019, by the wind of the spirit, there will be a change. Many people value these people's name more than the name of Jesus. But yet, they have not helped any one of you. Now, campaign is coming. I guess they will give you his moths and bones <laughs> that you use in shouting. After shouting, they will give you 500 naira. True or false? Lazy Nigerian youths. That's why after they have finished using you, they will call you lazy Nigerian youth. <laughs> ah, God have mercy. I say, God have mercy. Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are what? Say. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. He that calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can't call that name and be surrendered to sickness. 
You can't call that name and be surrendered to affliction. Never shall be saved. Shall be saved means shall be rescued. Shall be delivered. Anytime the name is mentioned, a presence is released. I remember one time I, I went to the village. They said, they just, a group of people just came that, uh, that uh, they would like me to um, represent them for counselor. <laughs> wait now. You never hear me now. <laughs> I didn't even wait for them to land. I said, one by one, get out now. You see, they have checked to I said, get out. If I change my temper now, you are, you are in trouble. Get out now. Get out. Get out. Get out! That's a demotion spiritually, physically. <laughs> Cancel or how much? <laughs> eh? To fear what? God has given me a name. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? God has given me a name. Me, counselor. Your father. And I told the person that I said, if I see you here again, I bet you, you will go naked. That was some years back. I never reached this level then, no. That should be around 2009, 2010. Say, Waka. <laughs> it will follow you, may you make it follow you, go back. <laughs> okay, you come and tell me. What I am seeing forbids me to go backward. What I'm seeing is only taking me forward. You know, if you can't see well, they can confuse you. Because of one small, small allowance. <laughs> Say with me, there is something in the name. The name you bear determines how you live. Please, I'm not saying that being a counselor is not good though. You can be seeing a counselor now, maybe the next thing now is local government chairman, from local government chairman is house of assembly. It's not a bad dream for you, for the person. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? But not for me. My dream level has passed that level. So the person can be doing well in that area. And he can continue. Just like they told Papa, uh, uh, can't he contest for the presidency? He said, he said that is demotion on my calling. If it were to be others now, they will be celebrating. It's an opportunity. Papa told them point blank, it is a demotion on my calling. Let me say this. The value you place on the name determines the virtue it releases for you. Even physically, the value you place on maybe your mentor or your spiritual father will determine the virtue you draw from him. Likewise now, the value you place on the name of Jesus will determine the virtue you will draw from that name. That name cannot release more virtue for you more than the value you are placed on it. So it is value that determines virtue. Jesus says, something has gone out of me because I know someone has touched me. Something has gone out of me. Something has gone out of me. What went out of him? Power. The name cannot release more power than the value you place on it. All through Rena Bonke's time in ministry, nothing more other than the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. 
anywhere he goes for the past 45 years or 60, 50 years he has been preaching on the name of Jesus it has not reduced impotency and delivery that is why I want to let you know whatever looks like a challenge in your body in your soul in your spirit in the name of Jesus the root of that affliction dies the root of that affliction dies in the name of Jesus I command healing for you I command deliverance in your body I command healing in your soul that disease that they say cannot be cured I decree by the power in the name of Jesus let the affliction be uprooted say amen like a believer anyone here suffering memory loss in the name of Jesus I command healing upon your mind in the name of Jesus I command healing upon your brain it shall be well with you it shall be well with you it shall be well with you the name commands blessing in this covenant day of fruitfulness I like you to understand that God's plan for you is to enter into a realm of unlimited success unlimited productivity God's plan for you is to be succeeding in succession. Where your results of 2018 must be better than 2017. Where what you will see in 2019 will far supersede what you saw in 2015. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 28 We'll read that scripture again Genesis 1 verse 28 And God blessed them And God said unto them Be fruitful And multiply And replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth if you are not blessed you can never be It is the blessing that determines what you become. Hear me? Your certificate does not determine what you will become. MSC, MTN, MSS, DSS does not determine what you become. It takes the blessing to determine what you want become and God blessed them and God said unto them be if there is no blessing on you you will never be and there are many things God has ordained to become for you there are many things God has ordained to come to pass in your life it takes the blessing of God for those things to unfold in faces. To be fruitful means to have good results. Become productive. Increase in your performance. Be fruitful means finish well. Be 
Be fruitful means reproduce after your kind. Now, I want you to hear this. The blessings of God brings about supernatural impartation of high level mentality. So it means high level mentality. When God blessed Adam, did Adam attend any university? Did he go to Harvard? Did he go to Massachusetts? But Adam looked at all the animals. Chimpanzee. Gorilla. Monkey. Lion. He looked at fish. Heterobranchus. Tilapia. Sea dog. He was just naming them. Which school did he go? The blessing imparted on him high level mentality. Now, let's take a look away from Adam. Which university did Jacob go to? Laban cheated him for good 14 years. The first seven years, he cheated him to marry. The next seven years, he cheated him to pay his wages. But look at it. By the wisdom and the impartation that have come upon him and the blessing that have been sweared upon him, he was able to do genetic mutation without attending any school. <laughs> After plundering Laban, the son said, let this man go away from us, for he is now richer than us. Where did he learn genetic mutation? Where did he learn crossbreeding? But by the blessings of God upon his life, he reclaimed his destiny. I want to let you know, it takes the blessing to succeed. If you don't suck the blessing, you can't suck seed. If you don't suck, say with me, suck the blessing. You can't suck seed. When the blessing comes upon you, you go from the point of success to the point of relevance. Where you are not looking for what to do, you are just making things happen. Let's shift away from Jacob. Let's go to Joseph. Joseph came to Egypt, the center of civilization in the world. Civilization started in Egypt, in the whole world. In Egypt, 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 Egypt. A man blessed appeared in Egypt where there was scarcity. He told them there is something I... <laughs> Even the king said, there is no one wise and discreet as thou art. He said, apart from me, there is no other person in this kingdom. He said, for the wisdom of the holy God is in thee. You are in charge. It is only in the throne that I am greater than you. For good seven years, he showed them how to preserve food when there was scarcity. Which school did he attend? He did not attend any school. He was going from one trouble to another. Am I saying the truth? From one trouble to another. From one trouble to another. But God, by the impartation of the blessing upon him, he still stood out in life and in destiny. You will not fail again. If you are saying amen, say a better amen. amen. The blessing of, all, of God came upon him and his mentality changed. Every time God's blessing come upon you, 
you go from one level of creativity to another level of creativity. And it takes creativity to enforce dominion. So it takes the blessing to be in dominion. It takes the blessing to be in dominion. A blessed man is not permitted to fail. Because when the blessing comes, what others can't see, you see. When others are seeing impossibilities, you are seeing opportunities. When others are seeing scarcity, you tell them, I'm seeing gold in this thing, oh. I'm seeing gold in this thing. Why? <laughs> the blessings of God has no respect for age. If not, Abraham never stood the chance to be a success. But God blessed him at 75. Chapter 13, and God has blessed him in silver, in cattle, in gold, and he has blessed him in all things. Why did he not fail at the age of 75? It was not possible for him to fail because something has come upon him. When the blessing of God comes upon you, there is a change in order. If you used to be a failure, you will now become a success. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Abraham was not a failure. The blessing forbids you to fail. The blessing resists failure. When you become a carrier of the blessing, <laughs> you carry the mindset of Christ. Scripture says, for we have the mind of Christ. Like I said in the first service, every time a blessing is proclaimed upon you, by a higher force, a higher vessel, there is an impartation of not only the hand of God, but the presence of God. The presence of God. The presence of God. I've said it before. Maybe you were not here when I said it. One thing I desired from Pastor Ojeme <laughs> is the grace for creativity. He's a creative pastor. It can reshape and reform and repackage. I desired it. Why? Because he's one of the persons that served Papa one on one longest. So he must have drank and drank and drank. So I needed it. I, I pursued him bumper to bumper. I made sure I collected it. And I meant I collected it. I can never be stranded. This brain I've received impartation and is still receiving. When you carry the mind of, of creativity, man, in any difficult situation, you will draw water out of the rock. I'm telling you the truth. As a student, you are not permitted to fail. You are not licensed to fail. The blessing of God upon your life repositions you from the realm of failure to the realm of success. You are not licensed to fail. If you have been failing before, today is the last day. Amen. That amen is too weak. Amen. The blessing of God upon your life has the capacity to subdue adversity. Challenges come to all, but not all bows to challenges. Am I correct? Not all bows to challenges. Challenges come to all, but not all bows to challenges. There are people that rise with challenges. There are others that crashes with challenges. From today, you will not crash because of any challenge. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Amen. The eagle does not go down because the storm is thicker. The eagle soars higher when the storm is thicker. By the impartation of the blessing, every challenge is an opportunity. Every challenge is an opportunity. When men are saying there is a casting down, thou shalt say there is a lifting up. Arise, shine. For thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. 
He said, yeah, darkness shall cover the earth. And gross darkness the people. He said, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen on thee. Do you know what brings about the glory? The blessing. Every time the blessing comes, glory is seen. Others may be wearing moody face, but for you, because the blessing is on you, there is a way out. He said, he makes a way where there is no way. A blessed man cannot be stranded. Never. No matter how much you try, you cannot be stranded. Try as much as you can to form network to make sure that things are hard for him. You will be so shocked. He will even be making ways with the more the network is increasing. And you that is doing the network that have gotten an assignment for Satan, you will be increasing. You will be wondering, how come this man is still making progress? Continue your negative assignments. He will be prospering with the light of heaven. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can't frustrate a blessed man. In fact, you are even getting more frustrated. Should I tell you something? Every time you make effort to frustrate a blessed man, you will just be going up. You, you will be receiving assignments to frustrate him to be going down. You will be going up. So in an adversity, a blessed man goes up. A classic example is Isaac. We read it in the first service. Genesis 26, verse 12. Let's read that scripture again. As we move up to the next phase now, before we rise up to pray. Then Isaac sold in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. Look at verse 13 now. And the man works great. And went forward and grew until he became until he became until he became this was the same person they were making efforts to close his well they closed the first one closed the second one the third one they left him alone people will leave you alone if you are saying amen say better amen if you are saying amen say better amen a blessed man can never suffer adversity. But rather, in the face of adversity, he will be enjoying, he will be, according to Bishop Abiyah, he say he will be going to advance city. Instead of him to suffer adversity, he will be going to advance city. Which one do you want? That will be your testimony. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Now, success is not only limited to what you do. Success also affects your family life. When the blessings of God come upon a person, he cannot be confused. He's not permitted to suffer regret. He's not permitted to take wrong steps like others do. Why? There is a blessing that comes upon him. That shows him what to do. Part time. It takes the blessing to be successful in marriage. Some people think that marriage is just a, I don't agree, you too, you don't agree. We don't marry. It doesn't work that way. You will only raise children that will multiply your suffering. As far as it remains God's institution, you need his blessing for it to work. So we say, I don't need pastor's blessing. Let's go to court. They have a cherry pastor there. <laughs> pastor's fee is 20,000. They will just join you. Well, I don't have any problem with that. I think they will show you Bible. Blessing goes with an anointing. Eh? It goes with an anointing. A drunkard. After drinking Ogogoro, say in the name of the Father. Say after me in the name of the Father. You will just be repeating for, after him. Hear me. The blessing of marriage 
is in the house of God. You only go to court or registry to legalize. Because of what society has turned the marriage into, you only go to there to legalize. If you want to succeed in marriage, you need the blessings of God because it is his institution. So, since it is his institution, he's the one that will give you backing. If you lack his backing, you will suffer. You can buy a certificate as a medical doctor or as a liar. A lawyer. Go and practice now. Let's see you. Go and practice. The day you, call, you, you do one abortion when you get hurt, they go see your papa that day. Am I saying the truth? Some months back, there was a man they caught recently. He has been practicing for over eight years as a lawyer. He has not been caught. But one day be one day. That day, monkey go market, he no come back. That particular day, someone challenged him. Where did you graduate from? Where did you do your housemanship? Where did you practice? Under which chamber were you trained? They began to follow up. Follow up. They now discover that the man is not a lawyer. But he has been hanging around lawyers. Now hear me. Hanging around lawyers and doctors does not make you a doctor or a lawyer. True or false? If you don't want to suffer in marriage, you need the blessing. Marriage succeeds because the blessing has dropped. Lastly, before we rise up, the blessing is a transformer and a fertilizer for greatness. Though thy beginning be small, thy latter end shall do what? Greatly increase. It's a fertilizer. It's a catalyst. Every time the blessings come upon you, begins to move you from your little state to great states. Anyone that is despising you now is making a terrible mistake. I'm telling you the truth. I've always said this, despise me and suffer. I told someone that day, he thought I was joking. Say, despise me, ignore me and suffer. When you are blessed, you cannot be ignored. You cannot be despised. A little one shall become like a thousand. And a small one shall be like what? A great nation. Should I shock you? You may not be doing too well academically. Academic success does not define life success. Am I saying the truth? Some of the people doing well now, it's not because they had first class. Neither is it because they had two one. The blessing of the Lord. It make it rich. And he added no sorrow. Your future is great. Yeah. I say your future is great. Yeah. Maybe they might have despised you. Belittle you. Commonize you. But watch out. By reason of the blessing coming upon you. You will shock all of them one by one. It takes the blessing to enter. To enter. A new frequency of success. That's why that tag blessed beyond numbers. is simply put. Anytime the blessing comes, a new chapter opens. Do you know what? Success is defined by opportunity. When the blessing comes, doors of opportunity begin to open. Do, do you know why? Do you know why doors of opportunity opens? Every time the blessing comes upon you, the spiritual tides around your life 
that was making things not to work before changes. Why? The blessing goes with a presence to change it. What a lady, O oh, thou see that thou fled it. Thou Jordan that thou was driven back. Every time the blessing is announced over you, the spiritual tide over your life changes. Doors of opportunity begin to open. Help us that never saw you before begin to see you. Help us that never wanted you before begin to like you. They will begin to see your name, your picture in the dream. I want to tell you, you will not fail again. What is it that makes the blessing real? You must have faith in the blessing. Faith. Blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance. Hear me? You may not have big name per se, but have the blessing. You will have to go to big places. People that have the blessing, they enter big places. They may not have big name. Blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance. For with man it is impossible, but for with God, <laughs> it takes the blessing to enter the realm of possibilities. I want to let you know that thing that you are doing now, it may be small, but get ready, you will go to great places. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. You must have faith in the blessing. You must have faith in the blessing. You must also have faith in the one blessing you. Believe the Lord thy God and thou shalt be established. Believe also his prophet, so shall thou prosper. 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 <laughs> hey. After I pursue Pastor Jeremy, pursue and pursue and finally one day he said, Need down. He said, I've examined you, I've asked questions, I've tried to scrutinize you, I've found you fit for this blessing. He said, from today, with one hand, he placed it like this. The heavens open for you. You will not struggle again. Every blessing I have tasted in ministry, you will not taste half, you will taste full. He said, from today, your hands will never be dry. Your pockets will never be dry. Oh boy. I can never be dry. Amen. Should I tell you the truth? I've been going like this. My graph is a linear graph. How many of you know what they call linear graph? I'm not lying, you know. I'm before the altar of God. My graph is a linear graph. Let one million witches gather. You know, go walk. All the hands that have swear blessing upon this life, man, doors are just opening. Should I tell you something? The same thing they did for me, I will do for you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. I remember the first encounter after that prayer. I never know what they call one million before. One million. One million. You know, there are some people that will see one million now, they will be, they will be eager to fly out of this room. After that prayer that day, in less than four days, my account, bang, bang, one million. Hey! I say that so. I'm telling you the truth. Before you know what's happening, doors began to open. Doors began to open. Hear me? I came by the blessings that has been invested upon my life. Someone suffering will end permanently today. <laughs> Believe the Lord thy God and thou shalt be established. You hear me? I, don't, I can't beg you to believe me. That would be stupidity. There are many that are being raised by God through me. And many are still being raised. It is your choice to believe. It is your choice not to believe. I don't need to doubt my source. As long as I'm seeing it and it's working for them, it's working for me. And whichever also cares to believe, it will also work. Because it is spiritual. And it is God that does the transferring. If I say use face, I will be selective. But if it is God, God is not partial. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Are you hearing what I'm saying now? The next thing 
The first one, have faith in the blessing. Number two, have faith in the person blessing you. Because spiritual fathers are destiny connectors. Your heavenly father gives you a place in heaven. Your spiritual father gives you a place on the earth. They determine your placement. They determine the, the, the doors that open for you. They determine your place of progress. That's why to be connected to spiritual fathers is to enter autopilot frequency. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? When men are saying there is a casting down for you, there shall be a lifting up. Number three. Number three. Live upright. Stop faking your life. The Lord God is a sun and shade. He will give grace. He will give glory. He said, no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Deception is a killer. It's a disease. Hear me? Any person you think that you are deceiving, now you they deceive yourself. Because the person will not come to your level of deception. He will not walk at your level of deception. Never. You will go down with your deception. It's shifting level. It's changing position. Your deception is your disadvantage. You are not disadvantaging him by deceiving him. No! You are only outsmarting yourself. You are only wounding yourself the more. Your deception affects you more. Than you think of any other person. Let me let me corner him. Let me corner him. Who are you cornering? Who are you cornering? Who holds the blessing? I the Lord search the heart and I examine the ray. To determine your reward, I the Lord search the heart. So someone can be around you and be playing games, playing pranks. You know, face covers a lot of things. But who determines the reward? So stop faking it. If you are serving, serve well. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Serve well, serve well, serve well, serve well, serve well. Serve with the whole of your heart. Whatever you are doing, be open. Even when you are at fault, say the truth. I made a mistake. Can, will they kill you? Are you the first person to make a mistake? You now be doing as if uh, you are a game man. Even Lucifer could not deceive God. Now you, small you. Eh? And lastly, remain faithful. Proverbs 28 verse 20. A faithful man shall abound with blessings. A faithful man. Rise up to your feet. Do your hand like this. Everybody rise up to your feet. Except you are pregnant with eight months. Except it's eight months pregnancy. Don't stand up. Open your hand. Open your hand. You are going to pray. Whatever has denied my hand from handling good, handling success, handling fortune, Lord, have mercy on me. Wherever I missed it, Lord, let today be the last day. Let there be a turnaround for me. Lift up your voice and pray in one minute. Lord, help me. Show me mercy. I am not succeeding the way I should. Wherever I missed it, wherever I've gone wrong, have mercy on me. Help me. I need your mercy. I need your mercy. I am a covenant child. I am not permitted to end like a destitute. Wherever I have gone wrong, wherever I have missed it, instead of succeeding in succession, I'm failing in succession. Lord, have mercy on me. Pray. Lift up your voice and pray. God is showing someone mercy. God is showing you mercy. God is showing you mercy. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, I am in the knowledge of blessing. I am tired of the struggle. I am in the lineage of the blessing. 
I am not permitted to suffer what I am suffering. Lord, have mercy on me. Let your hand of intervention show for me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. All eyes closed, all eyes bow. You are here, you are not born again. But you want to make it right with Jesus so that this blessing can be real and visible in your life. Put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life and be my Lord and be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. If you pray that prayer with me, come right now. I want to pray for you. I will anoint you here. Just come quickly. Come quickly. Give Make me that you. step quick. Take that quick step. Put your hands together for Jesus. If you are coming, come quickly. God bless you. You don't need to be ashamed. This is the best decision anyone can make. If you are coming, come quickly. come unto you shall you in no wise cast out they've accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and as their Savior as I put this oil upon them every yoke every legal hold the enemy had over you thy yoke is broken now in the name of Jesus Christ today mark the end of the torment of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as this oil come upon you, I decree the tide of event change in your life. The good you have never known or seen or handled before, I decree by the authority in the name of Jesus, you will handle fortunes you have never handled. By this oil upon you, the God of Oerebo take shame away from your life. Take away reproach from your destiny. Take away disgrace from your life. Whatever limited you and the members of your family, I decree, let the yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. Please remain standing. Everybody put your right hand on your head. Now hear this. When causes are proclaimed, evil powers are released to accomplish them. How much more? When blessings are proclaimed, the presence of God, the power of God, goes to accomplish them. I pray for you now. As long as the God of Oyedek will leave it, your hand will not know lack again. If you are saying amen, say a better amen. Whatever power has limited you from succeeding in your family line by the blessings of God I command every limit over your success broken in the name of Jesus I command every limit against your going forward be broken in the name of Jesus if you are saying amen say a better amen the blessings of God coming upon you now, I decree you will no longer underachieve. Amen. Where others go and fail, I decree you will get results. Amen. Doors that are shut against others, I command those doors open for you. Amen. Whatever look like an evil tide following you, 
I pray by the blessings of God, goodness and mercy follow you in the name of Jesus. Where others are rejected, you will be accepted. You will be accepted for honor. You will be accepted for marriage. You will be accepted for promotion. You will be accepted for opportunity. If you are saying a message, better amen. From today, your hand will handle fortunes. Whatever is your success level before this service, by the blessings of God in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree let there be a change in gear. Your blessing level will change gear. Your success level will change gear. Your progress level will change gear. It shall be well with you. You will not suffer again. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not eat the bread of scarceness. You will not eat the bread of sorrow. You will not eat the bread of languishing. I decree for you the lines will fall for you in pleasant places. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Your steps, your steps will bring you to places of honor. The people that matter to your success, by the four wings of the spirit, I command them to locate you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whatever power is behind failure in your life, I command them buried in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. Wave your hand unto God and give him glory. In Jesus' name we pray.